Welcome to Lucia's Kitchen. Today's recipe is chip steak and onions. And the ingredients you're going to need is a quarter cup of olive oil, any brand will be suffice, salt, one large uh, sliced onion, and I have a huge family that I have it's a ton of boys that I feed, so um, usually a pack will do to feed a family of five. Um, but I have company tonight, so I'm using two packs of chip steak, which is thinly sliced. Okay? So let's get started. So you're going to pour your olive oil in your skillet. This is a quarter cup. I am going to add... Oh, it's fine. Quarter cup is fine. I'm going to add my onions. Now, when you're making steak, you always want to hold your salt to the end because sometimes salt can make the steak a little tough. All right, so we're going to come over to my stove and we're going to saute the onions before we add the steak. And we're going to put it on low flame. All right, I'll get my spurtle out again. All right, so we're going to let that sizzle and I'm going to bring my steak and get that ready. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Um, chip steak. You can make. The, you can actually make these as sandwiches, or what I do is I pair it with lentil soup, a bowl of lentil soup. But you can get rolls and have like you know steak sandwiches. But look how thin the steak is. They're just little pieces. They're like sort of like cut really thin or shredded. And this is what we're going to add to it, okay? Just to give you an idea. We're going to let this sizzle for a little bit and we'll come back and check on the onions. Let's check on the onions. The onions are now getting softer. And at this point, you can see they're starting to brown a little bit, which is okay. And uh, they're about halfway cooked. So it's a perfect time to add the steak. So let's take the steak. Let's put it in there. This is such an easy dish. You can make it for lunch. You can make it for dinner. I'm choosing to make it with dinner. I'm going to serve it with, my dinner will consist of a bowl of lentil soup and chip steak and onion. And I'll have some bread at the table and a nice salad. And this is really quick after a busy day. Okay. I am going to grab I do is I just, just go through the steak just like that. And what will happen is the steak itself will release its juices and you'll get a nice sauce. Just like that. And I'll just, just keep turning it so it doesn't burn on you. And I'm just, this is what's great about these fertile. If you have time, go into QVC. They are the best. I actually threw out all of my wooden spoons, and this is all I use. See how that's being finely? I'm just, I'm just separating the meat, chopping it up even further. Just like that. That's all you're going to do. Because you want to burn the onions. You want them to be soft. Look how nice this looks. Remember, when you're shopping at the grocery store, make sure it says chip steak on the package. That's what you want to use. It's a thin steak. And this, as a side, this will serve five people. And you, know, you don't want to overcook the steak, remember? I mean, you don't want to eat it raw, but uh, I usually cook it where you don't see any bread. Yeah. This is a dish. You can walk away from it for a minute or two, but this is a dish I do not walk away from, this pot, the skillet, because I really want to keep turning it so it evenly cooks, because with steak, I don't want it to be overcooked. Okay, I'm gonna grab my saw. Grab my 
finish. Perfect. Enjoy.